What's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it. You already know. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. But above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. It don't cost you nothing, and it will help out this channel. So today, I wanted to tell you guys pretty much the story of Woody. He committed suicide. A lot of people didn't want to believe it. And the only reason why I'm touching on this topic is because I've recently seen a Vlad TV interview of Big Tone. And they're speaking the whole, the whole situation about Woody and how every time any song you heard him mention Snoop. If you guys don't know who Snoop is, that's Woody's homeboy from Antioch. Gabriel Snoop Roberson. He got arrested in 1996 for a murder that happened in 1994. It was April 16, 1994. Some of the homies went to a Norteño party the Norteños were having a party in West 20th Street, which is Double S territory, and allegedly some homies rode through, lit up the party, and they left one of the factors as far as from the Antioch Norteños Blackbird, they ended up paralyzing his brother. So that same day, later on in the night, they went to the Antioch Veterans Memorial Hall. There was a quinceanera going on. And it just so happened that the quinceanera's colors for the quinceanera was baby blue. So they catch wind of the quinceanera that's going on after their party got lit up. And they go over there. First, they send somebody in to scope out the scene. Next thing you know, two people come in, they start lighting up the place. So, it goes two years without anybody getting arrested. And then Blackbird ends up getting a wanted warrant issued for him for another murder that occurs on November of 1995. A couple months go by, there's a certain Hura I'm going to put his picture right here. He ends up trying to solve the case. He goes to Snoop in Susanville when he's busted. And he interviews him. He denies everything. A couple months later on, boom, they end up getting Snoop for that murder. So, it's alleged, right? And this is all alleged. And the only reason I'm touching on this is because... It, the story goes deep. So it's alleged that it wasn't Snoop, the one that was there and the one that did that with Blackbird. It was Woody. That was Woody's boy. They were like this. He shouts him out in a gang of songs. A lot of songs he's talking about Blackbird and in a lot of songs he's talking about how his homeboy Snoop is innocent. It's a lot of interviews where he's speaking on it. He's like, man, I'm hiring lawyers. I need to get him out. I know he's innocent. And I ain't going to lie, man. Watching his documentary, his interviews, and hearing his music, he really, really felt like he knew with all his heart, with all his will, that Snoop was innocent. So it always led me to be like, hold on. It was him. You know what I'm saying? There's only two white boys right there. You know what I'm saying? From a Rasa hood. You know what I'm saying? Because they're northerners, but it was a Rasa hood. So if there's only two white boys in that hood, could it be that they mistook Snoop for Woody? And Snoop just kept it solid? I don't know, man. From hearing the interview that Black TV did with Big Tone and what they said, Documentaries. I'm sure you've seen there's a bunch of stuff on YouTube about it, but anybody who listens to Woods music 
he this is stuff this is stuff that's publicly known um yeah you know snoop is doing time and i don't mind i don't know snoop i never met him um i, I communicated him a couple times to to uh, uh uh other people shot up some dope stuff like that but i don't know i uh, never met him but i know he's doing time for something he didn't do you know what i'm saying um and uh and you know would would uh Wood was a good hearted dude, but he would do anything for his people type of person, you know what I'm saying? So, um, whatever was eating him alive was eating him alive, you know what I'm saying? But I don't believe it was just one of those, um, oh, I'm tired of depressing. I don't believe it was one of those things, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, it, and, I, and I'm gonna keep it transparent, it's a mystery to me too. So, so I'm, I can't sit there, I could just only speculate on certain things. Um, I will they talk about that. When Woody committed suicide, he left a tape. He left a tape confessing, confessing to that alleged crime, trying to free his homeboy. They said that they destroyed it. It no longer exists, but he took his own life out trying to free his homeboy. You know what I'm saying? And if that was the case right there, man. Big salute. Even if he is from the other side, you know what I'm saying? Like, that right there, I'm pretty sure that will eat me alive too. You know what I'm saying? If, Because we all know what comes with it. When you hanging around, you getting straps passed around. Whatever the situation might be. You get in the car at the wrong place at the wrong time. Say your homies just did something. A few hours before, you jump in the car, you get locked up. You can't say nothing. You got to write it out. You know what I'm saying? And that seems like it's the situation with Gabriel Snoop Roberson. You know what I'm saying? Um, from watching the documentary and just hearing, like, because you could hear how he knows in his heart that his homeboy's innocent. You could hear it. You could feel it. When he gives his interviews and all that, you could feel it. So... I just wanted to touch on that, man. What you guys think? What would you do? Would you kill yourself and leave a tape confessing so hopefully your homie could get out? Or you just gonna be like, man, I'm gonna look out for you, make sure that you're good, make sure that your kids are good. Like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up, what do you do? Like, you know if you go confess, you gonna go do life and maybe he gonna get out, but it's still like damn you know what i mean that's a messed up situation to believe to um be in but i just wanted to touch on this story right here man it's the untold story the unspoken truth on how woody kept trying to get his homeboy out because his homeboy was busted for a murder that he committed and i'm just reading in between the lines man you guys go ahead and listen to the Vlad interview with Big Tone and Vlad when they're talking about the Witty situation. But that's pretty much what they're saying without saying, man. I just wanted to do another different video. This is something right here that really, really like caught my attention because man, that situation right there is crazy. It's crazy to be in. And if that's the truth right there, if really he committed suicide because he couldn't live with himself, knowing that his homeboy was doing life for something that he did man that's crazy and i bet you anything it happens more often than you think i guarantee you that if you guys have any similar stories or you guys have anything you guys want me to touch on go ahead and get at me on ig i'm gonna put my ig right here i appreciate you guys tapping in man it's your boy santo g real raw and uncut and with that being said man let's get